When I seen the wall, it was I was amazed. It surpassed my wildest dreams. We didn't tell anybody what was happening, so the wall just was empty, it was completely empty. Social media started to get a bit excited, what's going on, and from there people started to, to come and look and, and watch what was happening, and then it just evolved from there, it was absolutely phenomenal. I'm still proud of it. I'm glad that we did it. It was a great experience for the town. Uh, it was great that we managed to raise some money for a decent charity as well. Fantastic vibe. Really good. It was, uh, the whole community was out. At first we thought people might, you know, pop a pound in a bucket if they took a selfie, but the people of Nuneaton are incredibly generous. It is a deprived town and as you say, especially with coming out of Covid and people have had it really hard. They can't feed themselves. But the generosity was just phenomenal. It didn't surprise me in that way because Nuneaton has got a big heart really. At the, at the core of, of what we are, we have got a big heart as a town. It tells me so much about human nature that uh, Nuneaton gets an hard time, uh, an hard press about being deprived. This goes to show that all the people in Nuneaton and further afield were willing to dip their hands in the pockets, come to the wall and probably spend that pound what they haven't got. And Nuneaton is a great place, people are great in Nuneaton, just needs a bit of um, tender loving care I think. to thank the NHS and key workers for all the amazing work that they've done throughout the pandemic. So we've got about 40 of the, the country's top street artists and graffiti artists coming to paint on the walls and different boards.